Hey guys, my name is Melody, and today I'm sitting in my humble home studio, um, and we are going to be taking a tintype picture that looks like this. I'm going to walk you through my process and explain to you some things here and there. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. When my subject is a person, I will usually have one light in the front and one light in the back to help define the features of the face, but this will work for now. And then I will adjust the focus, making sure it's nice and set up um, in the viewfinder for the composition I want. This is silver nitrate. Uh, this bottle has seen many uses, but it still holds up, so whatever. We're gonna pour the silver nitrate into the four by five silver bath tank. One tip that I learned about the silver bath is just to not get it in your eye, because you could go blind. But don't be scared, just, you know, be careful and wear eye protection. It's really important to separate the clean collodion from the runoff. So you'll have a runoff bottle like this that you can filter later. Now don't forget your gloves either. Um, it keeps your hands from getting sticky from the collodion but it also will keep the plate itself from being sort of tainted or uh, from your hands. Now that the plastic coating is removed from the plate, hold the plate like a waiter's tray and put just enough collodion on so that you can coat it. Gently wobble the plate so that the collodion hits corner to corner to corner. Then carefully wiggle the excess collodion off of the plate into the runoff bottle. I also make sure to dab the edges gently on the paper towel. This helps sort of eliminate some of the white lines that form when collodion builds up on the plate. Then we'll just uh, carefully slide it into the silver bath, close it up, and then head over to the dark room. Now here's my portable darkroom setup. Uh, it's a tiny little guy, but it gets the job done. I made it out of a vintage suitcase, uh, some blackout fabric, and then a red LED light is on the inside. And yes, any red light will do. All I have is a rechargeable LED light. Okay, let's go. Let's see what Okay, now we are going to transfer the plate from the silver bath to the plate holder. Let me get the camera set up here. Now, what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna get the plate backing. We're gonna take the backing off. Oh my God. I'm gonna take the plate backing off. Set it aside. Make sure this is ready. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna open up the silver nitrate bath. Carefully lift the silver, uh, carefully lift the plate out of the bath. You can see that it's like a milky white. I like to dab it, try to get as much of the silver nitrate off as I can. Go ahead and close the silver nitrate bath. And then we're gonna wipe the back of the plate off to make sure that there's not any excess silver nitrate hanging around on the back of this. We're just carefully wiping off the back and I'm just holding it by the edges. It'll be all right. Doesn't have to be super perfect. Just make sure that it's not dripping like crazy. Making sure to hold it so that it does drip down 
to one corner. Same with the collodion when you put the collodion on. And then at this point, after wiping the back of the plate off, I like to make sure to dab that corner off as much as I can, just to make sure it's as dry as possible. Side facing down and the silver side facing up towards you. Then you're gonna take the back, you're gonna go ahead and close that back up and you're all set. Ready to go. Now let's make sure that our focus, our composition and lighting is all good to go. I could use one of these to help see a little bit better. When you're ready to insert your plate holder, you can just lift up the back of the viewfinder and insert it that way and it'll slide right in. It's also really important to make sure that your f-stop is where you want it to be. Um, I've taken a few pictures where it's turned out darker than normal and that's just because I accidentally hit my f-stop and like made it go up to 16. But for this shot, I want it to be on my lowest setting, 7.7. .7. Next, let's pour out a little bit of developer in a little glass like this. And then we also need to make sure we have our runoff tray and a glass of water to stop the development. Now I'm ready to toss the developer on the plate. I do it in one swift motion and wiggle around the plate so that it's evenly distributed. It'll only be a few seconds. I stop the developing process with some water. Looks like we've produced a pretty successful looking negative. This is my second try today. I think you might've saw on the left side, there was a darker sort of underdeveloped one, but we'll talk about that later. Now we'll fix the plate. And the negative image will turn into a positive in a few moments. Now it's time to wash the plate. This is really important to make sure that the development process completely stops and that there isn't excess silver or anything hanging around the back. When I wash it, I kind of like to check the back and go around the corners and stuff. Some people just leave their plate sitting in the tray of water overnight and some people have just their fancy ways of washing the plate but this is the way I do it. Don't play, Gussie. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanna help people out. So if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please, please let me know because photography is not a gatekeeping thing. 
it's a lot like music. Musicians need help from other musicians and we need to inspire each other. And same goes for photography. It's just like, we all need to help each other so we can learn and make great art. Huh, huh Gussie boy, Gussie agrees. Yeah, so, all right, Gussie. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and have a beautiful rest of your day. Get the camera set up here. Make sure that's all. This is very precarious, but we're gonna make it work. I mean, I don't film this kind of stuff every day, so whatever. <coughs> uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my equipment. I've got two Speedotrons. There's my kitty. I got, my cat's name is Angus, by the way. Do you wanna see? You wanna say hi? I'll be Kate's. Kate's getting picked up. Come here, Bucky. Ah. Here we are in the studio with my cat, Angus. He's a big boy. He's a good boy. Yeah, say hi. He's my little studio cat. He helps out all the time with things. Okay, he's gonna jump down. He doesn't like being held very much. Oh well. Thanks for being in the video, Gussie boy. You go, go. Ah, my brain, you're a good boy. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know, is this gonna be a thing? Is this a thing? Maybe. That's, that's kind of cool. Maybe that could be like my sign off or something. Have a beautiful day. That's kind of, we'll see, we'll see, okay.